Hi everyone, in this video I show you Microsoft Designer, which is a new AI tool that helps you to create professional quality social media posts, invitation, digital postcards, graphics and more, even if you are not a designer. This tool can be compared to Canva, the user can describe the desired image and AI will generate it for you. All right. Let's get started. Now that I am on my PC, I can show you how powerful is Microsoft Designer. Here I have my browser open. I have opened the URL designer.microsoft.com. I have preview access to Microsoft Designer. The first time that you open this URL, a panel shows up and here I have the Designer Copilot. This will allow me to take advantage by AI to create my picture. You have just to add a description of the picture that you would like to have and AI will make the work for you. Now let's start to write something in this field. Alright, this is the text that I added, YouTube new video about Microsoft Designer preview launch. Now that I added this description, I can click on the button generate to create my picture. But before to do it, I would like to show you all capabilities that you have here. For example, I can upload directly my own image if I have or from my smartphone. But let's go now on the button generate because I want to take advantage by using AI for this picture. It seems that I have a result now. I have Microsoft Designer Preview Launch. This is one. Here if you go over you can see a transition and you can see the animation of this picture. If I, do, if I go below, I have several uh, other examples. How powerful is this thing? It's pretty, pretty incredible. Now let's type another text here and just let's see how it works with other use cases. All right, I have for this use case, Instagram post about the launch of my bakery on April 1st. Let me hit the button generate. Now it's doing something the AI is generating and it's collating data to build my image. I have here normal images, how you can, as you can see here, I can filter per size, I have square, landscape and portrait. And then down below I have here just a short video which give me a better feeling about what I'm going to post. This is very, very cool. You can see that I have a bunch of samples that I can reuse. Let me select one, for example, grand opening of my bakery, 1st April, I have even the date on it. Now that I confirm this one, I have the picture, I have my canvas and I can start work. On the right, very important when you select a picture and when you start even from a blank picture, from a blank canvas, what you can do is use always the co-pilot which shows up on the right. Here I can select another option and other variations that works and fit better with my use case, I can change at any time my picture if I want. But this is fine, so now let's explore all functionality that I have here to start to edit and customize this image. Let's see all capabilities that I have if I want to change and customize this image. First of all, if I click on the main object of this picture, what I have here is the ability to rearrange the sides of this picture. I can even readjust the orientation and on top I can change the background color. I can select and get a color that AI provide me as a suggestion. As always, I'm going to select now this one, but I can add also my colors. Now that I have my new background color, I can select this image that I have on the left corner. And here I have this panel that provides me additional options. I can add these effects if I want or this other one, blur background or remove background. This is pretty cool because if you have some person on the image and if you want to remove the background, it works very, very nice. Now let's say that I want to select this one just to, to show you how powerful is this kind of uh, capability. Now I have this blur effect as you can see on top and behind some, uh, some piece of cake that we can see here. 
Down below I have even filters. I can change and apply a filter if I want. I can change the brightness, contrast, saturation, temperature, sharpness. There are many, many, many options. I can click on the show hole uh, related to filters so I can see more effect and filters that I can apply. This is for image, but on top I have additional functionality. For example, I can try to remove the background from here. I can replace this picture with another one if I don't like it. I can change the position. I can move the picture forward or backward. And then I can change the opacity. I can make it more transparent by going on 60%, for example. Let's keep now this build this image on 100%. I can also crop the image if I want to highlight a specific things on the picture. Now, let me go with the second one. In the second one, of course, I have the same capabilities. And down below, I have a text box. Here, as always, I have what AI suggests me in terms of text. I can make a text which is more captivating and is high catching for example like this one elephant pro if i select this one i can see now this title a little bit better and i have my brand font this is another cool functionality so if i make post every day it's very useful to have a brand fonts and colors to make your uh, process on building picture for your social media even faster now I can select here other text, for example, more friendly, more fun, handwriting. I can select a realable, retro, sans. I have many, many options. I can even search for a specific font if I want. But let's keep this one. Now, if I select again on top, I have the ability to change the font size, the position. I can add the underline. I can make it italic. I can straight draw this, this text. The opacity, as always, I can make it more transparent, for example. The same thing down below. This is another text field. And here again, I can rearrange the, the font size. I can change the size of this text box. It's very, very easy to use. All right, now that we have seen how you can change existing picture. Let's see how you can start from scratch. To start from scratch, all you need to do is go here in this area on top and hit the drop down and then start a new design. This open a new tab, which is even a good practice so you don't miss the work that you have done previously. And here, as always, I have the, my pop-up. I can start now from a blank canvas. I can decide the, the sites, 1080 pixel, 1200. Let's say that I'm going for this one. Now I can start from some, some template if I want, or I can upload my, my image. Let me select, for example, this one, which is pretty nice. And now here I have the copilot that allows me to change a little bit this, this template if I want, just to stay in, uh, just to stay on topic. Oh, this one, it's, uh, it's pretty nice to see. All right. Now, if I go here, I can always open the template and change and apply a new template to my picture. I can upload my media if I, ha if I have, there are several sources from the, this device, from my phone, Google Drive, Dropbox, Google Photo, I can bring my file here just by dragging and drop my picture if I want. And then below I have this feature, visuals, that allows me to change, uh, to change my, my picture. So for example, I can change it um, in favor of this. I'm going to add this new picture, which is pretty nice to see. I am going to place here in the lower right corner 
and let's see other things that I can add. For example, I can add this uh, flower icon if I want. All you need to do is just drag and drop this icon. I can add more pictures if I want. I can replace this existing one. I have many, many things that I can do. I can even add a background video if I want. But before to do it, I can remove, for example, the, the picture below if I want. I have to go on uh, background. Here I, I have my background, which is black, for example. I can change it if I want. Or I can attach this video here. And let's say that I'm going to make it bigger in order to take the full area of my canvas. Here we go. Now that I have my video here, I can add additional text. Of course, it's good to remove all objects that I previously added, or you can start from sketch from scratch as, a, as always. Now I can select a text. For example, I can drag and drop this style, which is uh, pretty nice for me. I'm going to add this text down below. And uh, in this one, I'm going to place it in the middle. Now I can add my text. This it's gonna take uh, an area a, li a little bit bigger. So I'm going to cover this bottom area of this of this picture. This one will take the place in the left upper corner. And now I can add my text. So this is the way how you can build your, your picture. It's very, very easy to use. Going on text, again, here I can add, for example, uh, an header, I can add a sub header, uh, my normal body text here, all components are automatically added. I can always select all object by clicking on the canvas and then control A, this select all objects that I have on my canvas and then I can remove all objects if I want. Very important in the last in the last function, which is styles, I can create my brand kit. As I mentioned before, this is very, very useful because if you make posts periodically, let's say every day, it's very useful to create your own style, which identify your brand, your product or your service. Now here I can reutilize something that I already have, for example, here down below or I can click on create my brand kit. And now here I can add my font that I want to use for the header, for example, then I can hit next. I can then select my font for the, for the sub, sub header, let's say Felix titling. Then I can target another font if I want for the body text. Let's go now on color. Now, what color identify my brand? It is for sure orange, which is my favorite color. I can add an additional color, for example, so I can mix colors for my, for my product. For example, let's go with this dark blue. I can add a third one. And let's say that I'm gonna to add another one, which is this dark green, an additional one. Let's go with yellow. And I'm gonna target this one. Now that I defined my brand colors, I can hit the button done. And now this is a preview of my brand kit. I can save this one. And now I have my brand kit here, save it. I can edit again if I want. I can save, I can decide the name of first if my brand, it doesn't really identify my my brand kit, I can change the name, my bakery, for example, and then let's hit the button save. Now I have my bakery brand kit here available that I can reuse every time that I want. Once the work is finished and completed, I can click on the button download and here I can make a post directly on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Here. I can decide the extension of my file, which could be a PNG, JPEG, or PDF. I can make the background transparent if I want. I can remove the watermark 
of Microsoft Designer. I can copy as image and then pass it in another place if I want, or I can send it directly to my smartphone. If I click on the button download, of course, this is downloaded locally on my device. When I am ready to create a new design, I have just to click on the button new design and then I have the same flow of suggestion coming from AI. In the upper right corner here, I can see what's new. I suggest you to follow this panel because you can have a better feeling of new features that lands on this service. Here you can see your profile, you can send invitation, you can change settings here of your profile, and that's it. This is an amazing tool. It's You can consider this tool like Canvas plus AI or ChatGPT. All right, we have seen in this video how to use Microsoft Designer. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe, like, and put a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about Microsoft Designer. I hope to see you next time. Bye.